All right, so in this video, we're going to get started with the first behavioral design pattern, which is the observer. The observer is quite a common design pattern simply because it's quite useful. Um, it allows us basically to notify a set of subscribers of a certain event that might happen. Okay, so basically at its core, it defines a subscription mechanism. So you can think about it in real life when you subscribe to a magazine or to some service, every time something is published to that service, you get a notification because you are subscribed to it. So that is the same idea here. The observer pattern allows a component to be an observer of a uh, service and the service, as soon as it is updated, will provide a notification to its observers or subscribers. So it allows us to notify multiple objects simultaneously. So you can have as many observers as you want inside your um, that are going to be notified. And then once something happens, all of these observers will be notified. And basically at its core, it defines a one to many relationship. So let's have a look at a uh, schema to see how we um, can implement this. So Basically here we have an event manager that has a list of subscribers or we could call them observers, right? It's the same thing. So a list of subscribers, which are objects that are interested in notifications coming from this event manager. Now keep in mind the event manager can provide various types of notifications. So it doesn't have to be limited to a certain type of notification. If it does make sense to notify of multiple types of events, then that can be implemented. And it has a function to notify subscribers. Now here on the left side, we have an event generator. As soon as an event is generated here, the event manager will notify all its subscribers. The event manager uh, defines an interface, okay, that can be used by other objects in the project to um, be able to attach to this note to these notifications. And here we have a number of subscribers that all implement this subscriber interface and have a uh, function that will be called whenever there is a new event that has occurred. So this is the general schema. It's not very complicated. It might look a bit complex in code, but it's quite simple at its core. So let's go into our code and implement this structure. So I'm going to create a new Kotlin file called observer. Okay. For the observer pattern. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to have a um, file that can be opened and saved. Okay. And those are the two events that we will have in our system, open file and save file. And whenever one of these events uh, will be called, we will notify a couple of observers. Okay. One of the observers is a logger and another one is an email uh, service, an email notification service. Okay. So both of these logger and email service are interested in the uh, file operations. Okay. So we will implement this structure. So first of all, let's define an interface for our uh, subscribers. Okay. I'm going to call this event listener and this event listener has a function update where you put, you pass the event type. Okay. Here we have two types of events, open file and save file event type of type string that is notable and the file that has been accessed. So I'm going to call this file from Java IO. Okay. So this is my event listener interface. Now I'm going to create a event manager. Okay. And here we can get um, multiple operations. So var arg operations of type string. Okay. The first thing that it needs is a list of listeners. So var listeners is going to be an empty hash map that has a string and array list. 
of event listener. Okay, so it has a hash map of string and event listeners. Okay, so um, let's initialize this for operation in operations. Listeners of operation is going to be an array list of event listener. All right, so we've initialized our listeners list. Um, then we have function subscribe. So this will allow our listeners to subscribe to events. Okay, so this will obviously take an event type of type nullable string and a listener of type event listener. Okay, so here we simply say val users equals listeners dot get of event type and then users dot uh, it's nullable so question mark dot add listener okay so of course we have multiple types of operations multiple types of events Therefore, we must have a list or an array list for each one. And here we have our types. We get those, we get the array list, and then we add our listener to it. Okay, so that is our subscribe. Now we have an unsubscribe function. Um, here again, we get the event type and the listener. And we do kind of the reverse operation. So again, val users is listeners dot get event type, and then users question mark dot remove the listener. Okay, so we have our subscribe and unsubscribe. Now, of course, since this is an event manager, we also need the notify method. Okay, so notify. So we are notifying an event type and we are notifying an operation because we need the file here as well. We need to pass it here. So file of type file. So let's get the users that are interested in this event type. So val users is going to be listeners dot get event type. And for all of these users, if they are not null, so users question mark dot let for listener in um, user, so it, then we will say listener dot update. So the update method has event type and file. Okay, so we are notifying all the users interested in this particular event type. Okay, so we have our manager. Now we need an event generator. Okay, so we're gonna have a class. Uh, let's call this editor. Okay, because we are uh, using files. So the editor will generate our events. So var events um, of type event manager. Okay, we need a reference to this and we will have an init block where we say events equals event manager of, so what kind of events can we have? We can have open and we can have save. Actually, we can even combine these uh, calls, these uh, instantiations. Okay. So we have our events, then we have private var file is of type file nullable equals null by default. Okay, so we have a few methods in this editor. So first of all, fun open, open file, and we have file path of type string. So file is going to be file of 
file path. Okay, and then events dot notify. So we want to notify all our uh, listeners on our event manager. So notify of an open event and on the file. Okay, so this is our open file operation and we have also save file. Okay, if file is not null, then events dot notify um, save and file. And we can actually refactor this one a bit, file question mark dot let, there we go. So if the file is not null, then we notify of the file save. So that is basically it for our editor. We have two operations, open and save. We have our manager with the event types open and save, okay? Remember, we can add here as many operations as we want. And that is pretty much it. All the uh, subscribers will be notified. Okay, so that is all. Now we um, need a couple of listeners, right? So keep in mind that we have our event listener, but we don't have an instantiation of that interface. So let's go ahead and do that. Class, um, let's say, email notification listener. Okay, so this basically will simulate sending an email if we receive a uh, certain event type. Okay, so here we have private val email of type string and this implements uh, the event listener interface. Okay, so we have a function to implement, update, and that will simply be a print line. We're going to print a message to the console saying something like email to email. Someone has performed dollar event type. Okay, keep in mind that we will receive the event type here. Someone has performed event type operation with the file dollar file dot name. And I think this needs a question mark as well because it can be nullable. So that is all for the email notification listener. Now let's create another one. Let's say log open listener. Okay, and here we will simply get a file name of type string. And of course, implements event listener. Of course, we have to implement our method update. And here we will simply print line. Okay, we will simulate some functionality here. Um, save to log dollar file name. Uh, this needs to be a var, I think. Okay, so save to file name. Someone has performed dollar event type operation with the file dollar file question mark dot name. File dot name and add the question mark. Okay, so we have our listeners. So let's go ahead and implement some functionality. So uh, class observer test. Not sure we will add assertions, but at least we will have, um, we will be able to run our functionality. So uh, at test fun test observer. Okay, so the first thing we need to do, we need an editor. So val editor equals editor. Next up, we need events. So we need to subscribe to certain events. So editor dot events. Okay, keep in mind events is our manager. Okay, so editor dot events dot subscribe. 
here we have two types of events, okay? We have open and save. So for example, for the open event, we will have the log, let's say. So uh, we will pass log open listener. And here we need a path, so path to log file.text. Okay, so that is our open event. And let's add another one, event editor.event.subscribe. And here we have our save. And then email notification listener. And here we need just an email test at test.com. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, call this. So we're going to say editor dot open file um, test dot text and we're going to say editor dot save file so for the open file we should get a notification for the log listener because it's subscribe for open events and for save file we will get a notification for the email okay so let's go ahead and run this All right, that should not be too fast. I just missed something, I guess. Let's see. Uh, yes, of course, I need the actual function here. Run that again. Okay, so there we go. So basically, when we open the file, the log, um, log listener was notified here and we get this operation, right? Someone has performed open operation with the file test.txt, save to log. And then when we do save file, we get the save, uh, the email notification listener, we get email too. And of course we can subscribe email notification listener as well. So let me define the log listener here. Okay, I'm going to move this here. I'm going to call this val and log listener. Okay, and let me define a val email listener here. It's going to be email notification listener email. Okay, but I can subscribe my email listener to open events as well. So editor.events.subscribe, open, and email listener. Okay, so now my email listener will get both open and save um, notifications. Okay, so let's go ahead and run. Okay, so first of all, we subscribe the log listener. So that's going to be the first one notified. And then email, um, someone has performed open operation, someone has performed save operation. So you can see that now the email listener is subscribed to both types of events. And of course we can define and as many listeners as we want, and we can define other listeners as well. As long as they implement the event listener interface, then they will be notified and they can do whatever they want with that uh, notification. So basically that is the structure as you've seen, it's kind of, it's not very complex. We simply need a uh, event generator, an event manager that handles some listeners, and then our listeners simply subscribe to uh, events and get notified. So that is the observer pattern.